Purchase yourself some cheap weapons on Fortnite Save the World traps or account leveling services at IGXE.com. Use Monkey at checkout for 5% off. Link in the description. Yo guys, Monkey here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showcasing the week 10 leaked challenges which will be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale this Thursday. These are the last challenges before we get a actual preview of what the Season 5 Battle Pass is going to actually be. As always guys, there will be a secret word hidden in today's video, so make sure you do go ahead and comment that secret word. The first person to comment the secret word will go ahead and have a chance to win a Gravedigger or a Nocturno in Fortnite Save the World. If you do not have Fortnite Save the World, just comment the secret word anyway. You can go ahead and nominate a friend to receive the Gravedigger or Nocturno who has saved the world. Also guys, if this video goes ahead and gets at least 100 likes, I will go ahead and give away 4 Season 5 Battle Passes to one of you lucky people. So make sure you go ahead and smash that like button and go ahead and comment Season 5 Battle Pass inside the comment section if you are up for actually me doing that giveaway. But yeah guys, without further ado, let's get into the actual video. So the first challenge in the week 10 challenges guys is you have to go ahead and search for chests in Junk Junction and you have to at least search 7 chests in Junk Junction. Now guys this is doable but obviously do not do this challenge at the start of the week 10 challenges because obviously a lot of people are going to go ahead and land at Junk Junction to try and get this challenge out of the way. As always chest challenges are a pain in the backside because if you are not good at the game then you're going to get eliminated straight away because literally most people on the map will be going to Junk Junction to get this challenge out of the way. So maybe we'll leave it a couple of days before you actually go ahead and do this challenge just to make it a lot easier for you guys. Obviously you can do it over multiple matches, you do not have to do it in one match guys. So take that into consideration, if you were good at the game by far go ahead and do it straight as the challenges come out, but if not just leave it a couple of days guys. The next challenge guys is you have to go ahead and deal damage to opponent structures and you have to accumulate at least 5000 damage to go ahead and complete this challenge. This is an easy challenge to do guys as you know people are always building inside the game they always build structures and then abandon them to go to the zone and when obviously you're passing these structures just shoot at the structures whatever you get when shooting them structures it will go ahead and accumulate to your actual score that you have to get to complete the challenge and it's going to be an easier way to complete this challenge because you're not going to have anybody shooting at you but if you're good at the game kill them and then take down the structure to actually go ahead and complete this challenge the next challenge guys is you have to go ahead and search for chests ammo boxes and supply drops in the middle of a match you have to go ahead and search at least one of each to complete this challenge so you have to go ahead and search at least a chest, an ammo box and a supply drop in a single match to go ahead and complete this challenge. Now the chest and the ammo box is really easy to go ahead and do but the supply drop you're not really guaranteed to come across a supply drop when playing the game. If you are good at the game and you are one of the last people to survive then you've got more chance of actually completing this challenge but if not guys make sure you do go into a squad or a duos with someone who is good at the game to get you into the final round of the actual match where you've got more chance of actually coming across a supply drop. To me I think this is the hardest challenge that is on the week 10 challenges. Now the next challenge is basically a comeback of a challenge that was in season 3 and I think this was also in the week 10 challenges of season 3 and that is that you have to go ahead and skydive through floating rings. You have to go ahead and skydive through 20 rings and with experience from season 3 guys all you have to do is just when you play in a game just make sure you go float through as many rings as possible to try and get this challenge done as quickly as possible. You've got multiple games to do this guys so you don't have to go ahead and search 20 rings uh, when actually skydiving down on the map I don't think that is even possible but yeah guys you could do this over multiple games and you have to go ahead and skydive through at least 20 rings now this is when we get into the hard challenges of the challenges guys and to be honest I don't think they are actually hard I think these are actually the easiest challenges that are actually on the week 10 challenges now as always you will go ahead and get a battle star challenge on every weekly challenge and the week 10 challenge guys is that you have to go ahead and search between movie titles and if you go ahead and go to risky reels 
that is where the movie titles are. I've got a video on it, guys. I will upload it straight after this one of where the exact location of the Week 10 Battlestar is going to be. Now, the next one, guys, is you have to go ahead and eliminate opponents. You have to eliminate at least 10 opponents in multiple matches. I don't think it's a single match because not many people are going to get 10 kills in a single match. So, make sure you go ahead and eliminate 10 opponents in multiple matches to go ahead and get a tier in the battle pass. Now the final challenge of the week 10 challenges guys is you have to go ahead and eliminate 3 opponents in fatal fields. Week 9 was actually eliminating 3 opponents in Anarchy Acres. Now it switched it around to fatal fields. So this is really easy to do. You're going to be eliminating opponents in fatal fields which can accumulate to your 10 that you have to eliminate in one of the challenges on the week 10 challenges. But yeah guys that is it for today's video. Obviously, I will be uploading the search between movie titles, battle star, location next. So if you're excited for that video, guys, give it a big fat thumbs up. And as always, make sure you do go ahead and find that secret word in today's video, guys, for a chance to win either a Gravedigger or a Nocturno. Like I said before, if you do want me to go ahead and give away the Season 5 Battle Pass, then make sure you go ahead and get this video to 100 likes and I will make that happen, guys. But yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you are subscribed. And you have enabled post notifications so you get a notification when my video goes live and be one of the first people to actually go and find the secret word in all my videos. But yeah guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.